Good morning, and welcome to our time of devotion. I am Reverend Barbara McPhee, and I am so glad that you are here today. Our call to worship, God of hope, we come into your presence this morning with confidence that you will meet us here. Where there is sadness, bring joy. Where there is tiredness, bring refreshment. Where there is despair, bring a renewed sense of hope. Our scripture this morning comes to us from Romans 15, verse 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. All of us have times where we find ourselves feeling a search for a word, and the best one I could come up with was blah. <laughs> Especially as the days get darker and the weather gets more wet and colder, it is more um, challenging to manage feelings, I think, and thoughts that give way to sadness, discouragement, even anger. When those feelings continue for any length of time without relief, they can be difficult to overcome as we find ourselves sometimes slipping into hopelessness. The Bible serves to teach us the truth about God and ourselves. The truth of Jesus Christ we know is the good news. Scripture encourages us to keep the faith in times of hardship and anxiety. The truth about God and about us is God promises to be with us. I find reading scripture and then just sitting and thinking about what I have read to be very comforting and encouraging. So the truth about God and ourselves is God helps us to find that comfort and to find that encouragement. But we have to do our part too. And that is, we have to find the time. We have to find the time to sit and read and pray and contemplate. Oftentimes, if you turn to scripture and you give yourself time to allow it to just sink in, I think that can help change our feelings. Romans fifteen thirteen, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. Yeah, so that you may overflow with hope and the power of the Holy Spirit. Paul prayed that the God of hope would fill us with joy and peace that would never cease. This joy and peace flows in and through our lives if we let it. But Paul also says that God is able to fill us with joy and peace as we trust our Lord. So trusting is a big part of that. God is not dishing out this overflowing joy and peace to anyone who wants it, those who have placed their faith and trust in God, can cling to Paul's prayer with anticipation. What an encouragement. We do not have to live discouraged. We do not have to be perpetually stuck in a place of despair and hopelessness. We can know hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Here are a few other scripture passages to help you when you're feeling down. For God gave us a spirit, not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. 2 Timothy 1, 7. Seek the Lord and the Lord's strength and presence continually. 1 Chronicles 16, 11. What you may want to do, if you've not already done so, is to make a special place in your home, a place to read scripture, to pray, and to contemplate. Our meditation today, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So, let's get comfortable, feet flat on the floor, hands in your lap, or on a table. Watch your breathing, breathe in. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me.
I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you. We thank you that you, through your Holy Spirit, are with us always. That we can come to you with all things that we can sit and, and read scripture and talk to you and think and just be silent and let your words wash over us to heal us, to give us hope, peace, to clear our thoughts, to help us change attitudes, to give us courage, to give us strength. All we have to do is make the time to sit and to open ourselves to believe and to trust. Thank you, Lord. God, we come to you today with our concerns, our joys. We are ever joyful that you are with us and guide us. You have created us and bless us and created us in your image. There are so many things we can do and see. Thank you for relationships. Thank you for loving us and caring for us. Thank you for Jesus and the Holy Spirit. God, thank you for friends and family, for church. Thank you, God, for the many ways you guide us and help us. God, we pray healing mercies upon all, all of us, because I think we all need those mercies in one way or another. For all who are sick, physically, mentally, emotionally, I pray your healing mercies. For all who have addictions, obsessions, compulsions, I pray your healing mercies. For all who have anger management issues, Lord, I pray they learn how to manage their anger. I pray we all learn how to love, that we grow deeper and deeper in our relationships. I pray we all learn how to forgive one another totally as you forgive us. I pray we all know how to appreciate one another and to work together with one another, to share joy and passions and faith with one another. I pray, God, for the animals and the birds and the trees and the earth for all of your life. May we be the stewards you've called us to be. May we be the caregivers of ourselves and others. And I pray for all life, for all life that are sick, Lord, for all life that are trying to to heal, not just humans, all life. For all life, Lord, that are in war-torn countries or for all life that live or are faced with crime or abuse. For all life that are homeless, that feel helpless. For all life that are struggling to find food, I pray your healing mercies. Oh God, I pray for all who are grieving, who have lost loved ones, who are hurt or harmed in any way. I pray your peace be with them. I pray for all caregivers. Strength and peace be with them, Lord, and encouragement. I pray, God, 
for all who travel, traveling mercies. And we pray, God, now the prayer that you've taught us to pray, sing, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our thought for the week is a little different. Um, <laughs> it's from Emily Dickinson. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. And our benediction, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May each of you have a blessed week. Amen.